Lurking in the corner of my office, uh, Melissa spotted this collection here, um, given to me my, from my friend Richard in America, very kind of him. Um, these are a range of uh, hard plastic ships manufactured in 1959, so just two years before Epix became famous. And uh, it's a British company called Eagle Wall, and they made a range of Royal Naval ships, which every boy and girl in Britain would have heard of from the Second World War, and they made them in one two hundredth scale. And here's a model, for instance, of, so saying, a German ship, the Prince Eugen, the lucky ship of the Kriegsmarine. Uh, and she was with the Bismarck when they sank the hood before the Bismarck herself got destroyed. And they're one twelve hundredth scale, which means they're very, very tiny. You can see here some quite fine details for 1959 pantography. And the joy of them, nice instruction sheet and, uh, and glued together with uh, glue, polystyrene glue. And the joy of them is that uh, they, uh, they sold them by the series. So you, the Battle of Narvik, so battles in uh, Norway were there. And then Matapan, uh, you get the Battle of Matapan against the Italian Navy. So you buy the ones in the series of the ships that were there. So you could collect HMS Orion, HMS Perth, and uh, all these famous ships, and uh, you collect the whole set. And the final thing that's exciting about them is uh, they're badged here, Eagle. Now, the Eagle was the best-selling comic of the 1950s uh, in Britain, and every boy in the empire would read the, the Eagle comic. So what they did was they teamed up with Eagle and put their branding on the top there, so it's easily recognizable. So one of the first early things of co-mingling and co-marketing very cunning indeed. Um, it would have made every boy want to buy one of these. So thank you, Richard, for this collection. It's smashing.